Okay, in this video I'll give you a short introduction to how to use the user points input spreadsheet for Oz Runways. Uh, firstly when you open up you'll be presented with a screen that looks something like this. First thing to do is to enable macros. In the Windows world click on options, enable this content and OK. In the Mac world it'll be a little bit different but you do have to have the macros enabled for this spreadsheet to work. Quickly going, having a look at the spreadsheet, uh, this is the this is the main page that you use where you input waypoints, longitude and latitude in, in decimals. We have the option of putting them in degrees and minutes as well. Uh, the first tab is instructions, which I'll cover some of in this video, but there's more detailed instructions. And then the last two tabs you don't need to worry about. One's a template file that we build a file off, and the other's the write file that we write out to the new, as a new OzPlan. So once you get to this point, the quickest way to get yourself a nice clean sheet is once you've had a look at the information I've got in there as an example is highlight that range, press delete and then you'll notice this has gone dark, it's gone dark because the formulas are missing so just drag that those formulas back up, they will go light again and then if at this point I would actually save a copy of this sheet somewhere on your system so, so file save and save it as a blank as a blank sheet for future use so you that uh, cut and paste exercise every time I've actually got, rather than spend time typing in me, I've got another spreadsheet where I've got a few waypoints put together for a, for a trip. So in this case I've got a trip from Archer Falls to Baffle Creek. And what I'll do there is I'll just copy that. I'll actually pick up Woodford to save me print typing it as well. So I'll copy that back to the user input sheet. Now I'll pick at this location here and I'll right click, paste special values and the reason I do that is that that retains all the formatting in the cells and it all looks pretty. I'll go back to the sheet again I could type these in uh, you might type them off a GPS or something but in this case just to save time I'll copy the degrees and minutes for the Woodford prison back to my input spreadsheet and I'll paste them. That'll be a trick here because I so I'll paste them here again paste special values OK and because I pasted over before I've lost those formulas so again I'll just drag them up let's play the triple paste there you'll notice that the formula there is now calculating decimal degrees from these degrees and minutes now the last thing to do that would be OK to import points but if you're worried about the order of the points in other words it's a true it's a true uh, trip then you need them in, in the correct order and you need them in the correct order then you We'll put him. Woodford actually belongs here in this gap, so I actually pick up Woodford and copy it and paste it here. Obviously, the quicker the quicker way of doing that is to um, would be to actually um, get them in the right order on the previous spreadsheet and then drop them all in. Now, the last thing we need to do is there's a requirement for it to recognize a point as being used for it to be a non-zero entry in this column so I'm just going to race down and put V's in, you can use anything you want I won't put one on this one here because we don't want to use that one, we've already got Woodford up to top so that's pretty well set up, ready to go now uh, Woodford won't be used down here, it will be used here, I've got them in order um, I can then rename it if I want to, I won't, I'll just keep it the same and I can also use this to clip the name to a short of shorter version so if I was to put a 5 in there you'll notice they're all clipped to 5 to five um, letters I'll leave 20 in there so they're all full length that's it so at that point I press the generate OzPlan file it races through and picks up those entries and writes them to a file and then it saves the file in this location here and it's that's the location of the original sheet that I opened which in my case was the downloads folder so I'll duck across to that folder You'll see, the, see it there, it's just been written. Uh, in my world, I would right click on here, I would send to, and I would mail it to myself. So that would come up as an email, and I'd mail it to myself. I've already done that. I'll duck across and show you what it looks like when it arrives at the other side. So on the other side, when you open up that in your iDevice, iPhone or iPad, you'll see something like this, you'll see Archer Falls to Backhawk Creek as the new plan you press fly, once you press fly 
Once you press fly, it'll drop you into the plan and you'll be able to see it's added a new point at Archer Foils, a new point at Woodford Prison, and then back up to Gympie. There's one little trick here. The if you have a look at the plan, it's actually there's the plan itself. It's actually imported Gimpy, but it's imported Gimpy as a user point. So what I normally do there is I actually delete that user point uh, because Gimpy's actually got a, a proper uh, Ursa entry. Delete that user point. You don't have to do this in just important points, but it, it keeps your plan nice and clean. So delete this user point, duck over to Gimpy, so it's out of the plan now, and then drag the way, the uh, the course line across, drop it on top of Gimpy, and choose this Gimpy, which is the real Gimpy, and then you get the benefit of all the FAC and Ursa entries and all the details. Uh, that's you do that if we're using this as a real plan. And then finally, what you've got left is a plan that's going through Gimpy itself rather than through a user point over the top of Gimpy. So that's pretty well it. Um, I just thought I'd show you one, two more other very quick tricks. When you're in here, if you want to check an entry, the easiest way I've found is to pick up. So if I wanted to check that way, that Woodford Prison, highlight those cells, hit copy, and then drop yourself, and you can either drop yourself into a browser or into Google Earth. I use Google Earth. In the search bar, just paste it and do a search and what it'll do then is zoom into that point and this will work as well in the browser bar Firefox it'll drop into Google Maps and that's just confirming that I had the point right and yes the point's right and it's good for prison um, the reverse you can also do very quickly uh, it's a little bit more complicated but oftentimes you'll have a set of entries as I as I have for example in Google Earth say these collected airstrips there's a whole heap of strips that I've collected um, to get them out of Google Earth and into um, and into a spreadsheet form, I actually use a program, and I've highlighted here down the bottom of the uh, of the instruction tab. I actually use KML CSV Converter, and if you grab that program, there's a bunch of other ones out there, but I found that's the easiest. It'll actually let you write user points back out to spreadsheets, and then obviously once you've done that. You can get them in order and drop them in here, so that's a nice way. So that's it. Um, it's as easy as that.